Hello everyone, it's me, Jessie with Pampered Chef, bringing you all things fun and foodie from right here in my kitchen. Tonight, I wanted to show you a super simple salad recipe. Yes, I got it from my taste buds. It just came yesterday, actually. Um, and it's perfect for spring and summer. It is a crispy goat cheese salad and it features the three onion rub. So let's get started because it will take a couple of minutes just for the delicious goat cheese, oh yes, to get all brown and crispy in the oven or in the air fryer actually, that's a lot faster. Um, because we are going to melt this down and roll it, I'm sorry, step back. <laughs> We're going to coat this in panko and then warm it up and get it all nice and toasty in the air fryer and then it's gonna get melty and delicious. So this salad looks like it's fancy, but it is not. So all I did, and I'm cutting the recipe in half because it is just the two of us tonight, is take a four ounce log of just plain goat cheese and I mixed it with a half a tablespoon of the three onion rub, which is one of our favorite rubs. I like to use it as a dip or in burgers or on pork chops, or in salad dressings, or in sauces. It's just really, really yummy. So I and mixed that together. And again, this was a softened log of goat cheese and about a half a tablespoon of the rub. And then I rolled it into little balls. And then this is just plain flour. So in our breading bowls. And I'm rolling that into an egg. And then now I'm gonna use my other hand one wet hand, one dry hand, for those of you who um, don't know, uh, so you can always have one hand to work with. So I'm gonna use my wet hand to put the wet cheese into the panko breadcrumbs and then my dry hand to toss them together. So we're just going to look for a nice light coat. And I love these little breading trays, they're super awesome. I use them for defrosting things in and um, they, also, they have these like non-skid on the bottom. So if you are doing a whole bunch of things, like I like to make onion rings in here, breaded zucchini in the air fryer, um, they don't slide around so, and they hold a lot. Okay, so now that these are all just lightly toasted in the bread, or not toasted, oh my gosh, lightly coated in the breadcrumbs, I'm gonna put them on my little baking tray. Let me wash my hands real quick here, rinse off the gunk. This is the small uh, stoneware bar pan, and I'm just gonna throw it in my air fryer in the middle on air fry for, we're gonna do seven minutes. And we're gonna see how that turns out. I've never made this before, but I think this is such a genius idea. All right, I'm gonna set these off to the side because those can go right in the dishwasher. And we're gonna get ready to do the, the rest of our salad. So I am going to serve this on a plate because I just think it's so beautiful. So if you were doing this for like a Sunday dinner or maybe Mother's Day, it would be really, really great served on like a big platter. Uh, this is just a bag of mixed greens. So there's like spinach and arugula and some um, red leaf lettuce in here, but literally anything uh, leafy and green and a little bit purple would go. So if you just have spinach, if you have kale, if you wanna use beet greens, whatever. I do think that the pepperiness of the arugula is just a really great addition to this. All right, so the original recipe is grapes and apples. But what I love about taste buds is it always gives you like substitutions or ways to tweak it to make it more your own. I don't have any apples right now. So I'm gonna swap out the apples for strawberries because I actually have some strawberries. And berries and goat cheese, if you don't know, are an excellent, excellent combination. So tonight we're gonna do grapes, which I already have washed in our little strainer here. This is actually a discontinued um, straining cup, but you could still probably get it in the outlet. And I have a couple of them right here. I'm just gonna pour a few of them onto my little slicer and we're gonna slice them just like that it's really easy and then dump them onto our lettuce now you could fancy arrange all this i'm not gonna get that fancy i'm gonna go rustic so even if i did this for mother's day or another holiday or just for like a fancy dinner party i like to keep it a little bit not perfectly plated all right so i have a couple little one these grapes were needing to be fixed. <laughs> All right, put those on there. 
and get rid of that. And I'm gonna do the same thing with our strawberries. These are just strawberries that I cut the ends off of and rinsed. So I'm gonna slice these up in our slicer. This thing works great for tomatoes, for onions, for doing peppers real quick. I get it out when I um, just have a couple tiny little things. The rapid prep mandolin though is like my go-to for potatoes or um, like radishes, carrots, uh, shredded lettuce, shredded onions, burgers. If we're doing like a lot of shredded stuff, I get that mandolin out in one second. That thing is amazing. All right, so grapes and strawberries on a bed of mixed greens already looks fantastic, right? This is one of those salads that you would pay $15 for at lunch, <laughs> but we're gonna spend way less than that. This is just some walnuts. You could use any nuts. You could not put nuts. You could put crispy fried onions. You could put seeds, like sunflower seeds would be great in here. But I just thought I had some walnuts that were chopped, so I'm just gonna put these on here. Um, also, walnuts and goat cheese are super good together. I uh, took these out of the package, and in case you didn't know, you can put nuts in the microwave to toast them. So I just laid them out on a plate, and I cooked them just on high for like a minute, and then stirred them around, and they didn't smell quite toasty yet. So I um, did them for another like 20 seconds, and then they were perfect, and I just let them cool, because I don't want the salad to get all wilty. All right, it's looking good, right? Now we need the dressing. And the dressing is easy peasy lemon squeezy. I am going to make uh, the whole thing of dressing, even though we're only gonna use half of it tonight, just because um, it will be excellent on another salad another night. And it will last in the fridge for a couple days. So I'm gonna use apple cider vinegar. We need three tablespoons, which is roughly a quarter of a cup. And I'm, like I said, using apple cider, but you could use rice wine vinegar, you could use red wine vinegar, you could use white wine vinegar. I wouldn't use balsamic. I think that that would be a little heavy in this. Um, so something a little lighter. And I like the, um, like the acidic citrusiness and fruitiness of an apple cider vinegar. Well, these are our measuring cups. If you can't tell, they have the measurements on the outside, but you can see them from the top, so you don't have to keep like bending down and looking like, where, where, what measuring am I at? Uh, this is our new vinegar and oil dispenser, and it has the measurements on it. So I'm gonna do a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. I will be honest, I don't like a super oily dressing, so um, I kind of cut the oil in half. You're supposed to put a half of a cup of oil, which I just think is like an astronomical amount of oil. Um, I tend to go more equal parts oil and equal parts um, vinegar. So I think that's a better, a better ratio. All right, and then we're gonna put some three onion rub in here. A, approximately a tablespoon. No, I am not measuring. <laughs> so I'm gonna put about a tablespoon in here, maybe a little more for good measure. This stuff just smells like savory deliciousness. I'll let you know what everything is inside. It is dehydrated onion, dehydrated red onion, salt, onion powder, there is maltodextrin in it, uh, green onion, a little sunflower oil, and then a little anti-caking. So there's nothing um, bad in our seasonings at all. They're all gluten-free, uh, they are all natural, they don't have any preservatives or anything artificial inside of them. Same thing with our mixes, which I think is really, really good. All right, the last thing we're going to do is about a tablespoon of honey. So I'm just gonna put that in there. Here's my little scraper. This is some local orange Florida honey, so that'll be good. And then we're just going to put um, our little mixer and we're gonna mix this all up. Now, if you wanted to make this more of a um, lunch or a light dinner, then you could totally add chicken, you could add turkey, you could add, um, you know, Mr. Teacher would probably like some pork chop in here. <laughs> I think any of those would be a good option, especially like leftovers, leftover grilled chicken, leftover grilled turkey. This summer, that would be a great way to use that up. And then that's our dressing. That's it. That 
and perfect timing. Listen to that. <laughs> the goat cheese is ready. Ooh, this towel's a little damp. I'm gonna burn myself. No, I know I should use a pot holder, but I just don't. <laughs> oh my goodness, these turned out so perfect. All right, and hot. So again, um, I used four ounces of goat cheese on here and I just rolled them in a little bit of flour and egg and panko breadcrumbs and they are like perfectly gorgeous. Oh, we need something to get these off. All right, I'm just gonna lay these on the top of this gorgeous salad. So we'll have the creamy earthiness of the goat cheese and the freshness and bitterness of the bitter greens and the sweetness from the strawberries and the grapes with the savory dressing. Oh my goodness, this is going to be out of this world delicious. And then I'm just gonna drizzle our dressing over the top. And we're going to be done. I'm gonna call this a hit. I cannot wait to eat this. You guys need to try this. So make sure you are getting some three onion rub. If you would like to try taste buds, they are on sale this month and I would highly recommend it. They have tons and tons of great recipes that make you feel like a total chef, even if you're just a home cook. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and comment. If you have any questions whatsoever, please reach out. And again, thanks for watching. Have a great night. Bye.